Hello everyone, my name is Hannah, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. So, I believe I just finished a run with... Was it Kane? Yeah, it was Kane. Yeah, I just finished a run with Kane, and I beat Isaac. I apologize, I have a cold. So if you hear a lot of sniffling, that's why. Yeah, I just beat... Isaac with Kane, and I'm actually thinking I'm gonna do some greed mode. Now my win streak didn't seem to unlock anything, so I'm wondering if the first win because I did as it was just it just beat Mom. I wonder if that didn't count because, like as you can see, for Isaac I haven't unlocked anything because Mom isn't. It's only technically a final boss in the very first run that you do, so I wonder if that didn't count towards my win streak. Either that, or maybe the win streak needs to be on hard. Either way, I didn't unlock anything for the 5 win streak, and I know there's an achievement for that. At least on Steam there is. Maybe in the PS4 version there's not an achievement. I don't know. But, I'm gonna do some green mode, and since I'm not sure if the achievement would have unlocked yet, I'm going to pick another different character, and I'm going to go with Judas. Alright, so a few things. Uh, greed mode. So greed mode, each floor consists of basically like five, six, possibly seven rooms. Um, you got the shop here, which each item restocks after you buy it, um, and you have another you have a restock machine in every uh, well not every floor actually, but you usually have a restock machine. Um, you have one item room that you need to unlock, and you have one item room that's just open. So let's see what's okay. So given this is greed mode, this isn't terrible. I still would have liked to actually have had an actual buff. Now I have two hats. Okay, so explaining Judas a bit. So Judas, as you can see up there, I have one heart. Now that's a crappy thing about Judas. But Judas, as you can see over here, he does a lot of damage. And I don't know if you saw that, but he started out with three coins. And then he also starts out with this item called the Book of Belial. Now I explained that before when I was explaining the devil tarot card um, it has the same effect so I use the book of Belial I get stronger I do more damage so I'm going to actually I'm going to buy a key so I can unlock that door Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, I'm going to take it because it's the first item. So this is monstrous long. Now you can see my tier rate went down, or went up. It, it's not good. It, see, because I have to charge now. I mean. And you have to charge it fully before it activates. So I mean, my tier rate wasn't awful, so this isn't terrible. Like if I had started out with a really bad tier rate and then I took that, that would be awful. Like, cause I've had this item completely ruin runs because I would have to sit there charging it for like literally five seconds. And it's just, it's not practical. But this isn't too bad. So I just do a bunch of shots like that. I'm basically doing a monstro shot. I look like Monstro. Um, so. So the whole thing about greed mode is that there's a button here. And you press that and you get uh, waves of enemies. I believe you get... It's been a while since I've played normal greed mode. Either eight or nine waves of regular enemies. And then after that, the button will... Like, you'll get a chance to go buy some items, and then you press the button again to have, like, the little boss battles. 
So, I'm going to use my Book of Belial. You can see my damage went up by quite a bit. And I'm going to start this green mode. I am not a fan of Monstro's Long, but I've just had a lot of bad experiences with it. Okay, so another thing about green mode is that your active item, each wave, it does charge. Um, and with some active items, that's really good. The Book of Belial does not stack with itself, unfortunately. So, like, if I were to use it again, see, it doesn't give me another boost to damage. So that is the unfortunate part about Judas. That's why I don't usually like playing him much in green mode. Freaking spiders. Jeez. Okay, so it does eight waves of regular enemies. So now all the doors have opened, and I can go buy some stuff. I'm gonna buy, th um, and I'm gonna buy this because I want more health. Because Judas only starts with one health, and I'm actually gonna go here. I mean, I'll use it. So the bed. I don't know if I've gotten a bed yet. No, I don't think I have. So the bed heals you fully. And you could use it once. Um, but yeah. I think. Alright. So now let's get the bosses. So each wave will either end if you've beaten everything in the wave or after that timer goes down. some bosses that I haven't seen yet on this playthrough, so... Uh... Oh, I unlocked the cellar, so I must have beaten all the bosses from the basement, then, I'm assuming. So now you see, the button has a little uh, pentagram on it. So what I can do, you see, I have 10 out of 10, so I can progress to the next floor. Oh, let me like, beat these guys first, get them out of the way. So I can technically progress to the next floor. But if I press on that, I'll get another wave. So I'll do that. And you can see in the bottom left corner, my devil room chance went up to 100%. So basically, after you beat this wave, you don't get any more coins, but you do get a Devil Room. Or an Angel Room, if you... Uh, I'll explain that in a bit, as well. But let me just, uh, get these guys out of here. So now, you see my Angel Room chance went up to 50, so it's just like, in the regular game, if you get a devil room and you don't take a devil deal, which I don't even have a devil deal to take, so it's good, no tempting. Uh, temperance. Does that even... Whoa, wait, I didn't even realize it tells you what... Huh, that's interesting. Okay. I don't know... Yeah, it doesn't do double active, so... Uh, the question mark card, double active, um, it does... It basically uses this. T it uses this again. But, like I said, the Book of Belial doesn't stack with itself. So it is completely. That item would have been completely useless. Alright, that chest is not going to be open because 
first of all, I have no bombs and there are no bombs to purchase. And I would have to do this in order to get a bomb somewhere, possibly, and I'm not doing that. Uh, let me just... Okay. We're gonna move on to the next floor. Put out these fires because they might have some coins. Ah. Okay. All right. Let's go in here. Screw. Tears up is nice. Basically, I want tears up items so I don't have to charge this as long. Okay, get rid of this fire because it hates me. Get rid of this poop. That poop. That. Um, gonna go in here. Get some coins. Come back out here. Go over here. Grab that. Do -do -do -do. Grab this. Go in here. Grab Papa Fly. It's Papa Fly turret follower. So what a turret follower is is that it shoots on its own. Like, if it sees enemies, it starts shooting automatically on its own. And this guy is like, is one of those followers that follows you on like a delayed thing. So he follows your exact path. Um, let's use this. Calm down. Freaking floating buttholes. This game would be horrifying if it had realistic graphics. Let me tell ya. Just naked baby puking blood onto freaking headless corpses and floating buttholes. It's great. It's great. No, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ugh. Dang it. The nice thing is is that being taking red heart damage doesn't affect your devil run chance. Um, do I want to buy I'm gonna get more health? I think that gives me I think that gives me tears up and shot speed down. Right, not the other way around. And it also gives me HP up, so I might get that next, or I could get that. No, actually, I want, I want this. I'm, I'm gonna go in here and grab this. And use my Book of Belial again. Uh, this is uh, Reg Mega. I don't like him. Thankfully, I do a lot of damage, so he's not as much of a threat. And this is a husk. Easy as hell. Okay. Just gonna do this again. And Dingle. Don't like Dingle. Especially when he has little shits with him. The slightly larger shits I don't like. Because they, they zoom over here. That's not fun at all. My turret follower doesn't seem to be doing shit. Are you gonna fire at him? Like, will you fire? Yeah, there you go. There you go, buddy. You did it. Okay. Um. Oh. So this is one of the guppy items, and it is actually a good one. But it's also an active item, and I only have one active item slot. So unfortunately, I will not take that. Because the Book of Belial, even though I can't use it multiple times in the same room, it's still really nice to have because it almost doubles my damage. Um, what this does is it's a one room charge and it spawns flies every time you use it. Like spawns like three flies, I think. Yeah. So it's a really nice item and in greed mode it's especially nice 
but again, I want to keep the Book of Belial and also hit points. Because health is important in green mode. Well, health is important at all modes. Health is just important. Especially when I'm Judas and I start out with one health. Okay. Okay. Mom's pearls. Not the greatest item. It's a mom item, so it could give me the mother transformation. Yes, mother. Can't quite afford a key. Gonna go in here. Oh boy! A single coin. I mean, I can afford a key now, so I mean, that actually wasn't that bad. Um, let's go over here, go over here. Oh, I forget what this infestation does. Ah. Uh, because the mulligan is when I think every tier that hits an enemy spawns it. Because there's, there's the mulligan, there's like a parasite or whatever thing that has egg tiers that spawns and flies. And then there's this and a station shot. And there's infestation 2, I think. And. Okay. Um, stop pressing the map thing. Piercing tears are nice for these guys because I don't need to go behind them. Ah, oh, I hate those. These guys are annoying because they can jump. Up, oh, up. Oh. Okay. I really don't know what infestation does. I mean, obviously it has something to do with flies or spiders. Okay, it looks like it's when I get hit. Maybe. Okay. So the battery items are usually really good, especially in greed mode. But, I only have one active item that doesn't stack with itself, so it's not really that good. Um, okay, what's over here? I'm gonna be a little bit... Ah. Oh, coupon. I don't know if I just had to buy a certain amount of items. I'm going to actually put the bomb right here because... Okay, no. There are secret rooms in green mode, but if you don't really have a plethora of bombs, it's not really... Not really going to get any. Why'd I buy three bombs? I was going to buy two and then buy a key. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. Yep. Let's do... Not that! There we go. See, because using the active item on PC is a spacebar. So I keep wanting to press the middle button on the PS4 controller, and that's the map. <sighs> okay. Uh, little Gertie. I don't- I don't like you. Or Gertie Jr. or whatever. And this is the gate. I believe I might have gotten in before. He's not awful. I mean, he's one of those stationary bosses, so it's pretty nice. He does spawn these guys, which I don't like. Oh, jeez. He does that sometimes, too. Not often, though. I'd forgotten he had even had that attack. <sighs> Taking quite a bit of damage. I don't like it. I am... I'm confident enough. Because the thing is, if I went in there, my Book of Blau will wear off. And if I use this, I would get enough charge to use it again, but then I won't have it at the beginning of the next floor, and... You know, I'm confident enough. Alright, so that's 
pestilence, and that is, uh, is that death? Or, that's famine, actually, that's famine. Some of the horsemen. Not usually terribly difficult. And they all have pretty much similar moves that they do. Still haven't gotten an angel room. Oh, it's two more guppy items. So, I mean, I could have gotten guppy. I would have only had one heart, but I could have gotten guppy. Um, gonna blow you up. Wub wub, it's kind of just a useless thing. Make sure tears go all wub wub wub. I was gonna buy, I was gonna buy a key. So I can do this. Okay, that was worth it. And it gave me enough coins where I bought the key, plus I can buy another key. Okay. On to the womb. Polydactyly. Alright, pill. Infested. Infested. gonna buy a key. I have so much money to spend on things. Okay, so that gives me that, and it also, it's like the, the mask, where it occasionally prevents me from taking damage. I mean, it's not too reliable, but, you know, it gives you that extra bit of defense. Alright. Oh, and damage up items tend to give you more damage up the higher your damage is. So they're kind of exponential in their growth. Oh, I hate these guys. These might be my least favorite enemies. Especially when you have a charge attack. Because they pop up for like literally a second. Did I get all those stupid whack a mole dudes? Okay, hold the phone. What am I supposed to do about that? What? What? Like, are you going to make me use a bomb? <laughs> I've never had that happen. Like, I've never had it happen where you literally can't get to an enemy. Like, cause, I mean, what if I didn't have a bomb? <laughs> Would I be expected to just... Huh. Well, the door's actually open, so I mean... Are you an enemy? What are you? If I, if I leave and then I come back, you're gone. Okay, that was weird. I've never had that happen. I'm gonna get more health. And that's the belt, and that gives you speed up. So it's not. Like, I don't like items that just give you speed up. Like, I don't think it's that worth it, unless you're Maggie and you're slow as fuck. But I think I'm good. Uh, use. Not that. Belial. Got two dingles, which is. Great. That charge move, I hate. Because it's so fast. And not the most predictable. Uh, this... Oh, I hate this enemy. The problem with this enemy is that you can only hit his... tip of his tail. So he's not a particularly difficult enemy, he's just tedious. Skolex, or I'm not sure if that, that's how you pronounce it. But Skolex, I don't know. That's usually how I just think of it. Yeah, 
annoying. Okay, I killed one of them. Um, just give me your tail. There we go. I thought I was gonna finish him off. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can get an angel room, possibly. Oh jeez, I haven't even unlocked you yet. So I mean, spoiler, that's, it lives. After you beat mom's heart 11 times, it becomes this. And you never fight, really fight mom's heart again unless you fight her in like one of these things where it just shows up as a boss. God, I suck! I fucking suck, man. Oh my god. Okay, thank god it's not Krampus. Because I haven't unlocked Krampus yet, have I? No, I haven't. Uh, that's the Book of Sin. Uh, it gives you a random item pickup every time you use it. It's a four room charge. This is a familiar that falls you and leaves a blood trail, so neither of them are that great, so bye. <laughs> Let's, uh, do this. I'm drowsy, okay. That's cool. I'm just gonna go to the next floor, then. So then this floor is actually the last floor that has item rooms. Okay, I was actually going to say it would be really nice if the heart showed up, because this gives you another heart and it also fully heals you. So that was just really lucky on my part. Okay, let's see, get rid of this, get rid of that. Place my other trinket, I don't know if I'll be finding any more poops, but the other trinket is, as far as I know, it's mainly just a visual thing. Or actually, it seems like it... Hmm. I'm actually gonna keep that, actually. Actually, actually. Um... Ah. Oh, jeez. Freaking three reg, man. <laughs> this is not reg mega. This reg mega is a bitch. Okay. Uh, what are you gonna give me? See, I hate it when, like, these curse rooms or whatever give me freaking hearts, because it's like, yeah, it'll heal me for the half heart that I used to get in here, but then... Oh, I think my cone head prevented me from taking that damage. Because I was like, hold the phone, why did I not take any damage? It must have been the cone head. Anyway, um... Here. Dead bird. So this is actually one of the items that Eve starts with. Dead bird, it's basically a revenge familiar. It doesn't do anything until you get hit and then it starts attacking everything. Oh, why didn't I use my, uh, thing? I mean, it's not like... I'm just gonna use it soon again anyways. So yeah, now that I've taken damage, a little dead bird is flying around. It's not, I don't think it's the best revenge familiar. I think the revenge fly is better. Either the revenge fly either has a longer range or it does more damage or both. I mean, it's something. I don't think it's the same. Oh, I hate these little guys. They're annoying. I hate those, especially. Another one of my least favorite enemies are the freaking ghosts that fire the lasers. Also, those guys suck. Um, okay. Let's see. 
I actually don't want any of this. So this gives you two keys, and I think makes it more likely for you to find keys. Either way, I don't need any more keys. Like I said, this is the last floor that has item rooms. So unless the next floor has a chest or something, I don't need any keys. Especially not two keys. Um, this is an active item. Every time you use it, you get a trinket on the floor. Um, I have two trinkets available to me. I don't need another one. And I like the Book of Blau. So I don't think I'm going to be getting any more items on this floor. One are you? There's your conquest. Conquest. There's death, pestilence, conquest, famine. Why did I leave the room? Fine. I just won't have the book of Belial at the start of the next one. Um. And there's also the Headless Horseman, which, this is a bunch of Headless Horseman heads. Oh my god, why do I suck? Don't die, you fool. And yet I get another Devil Room. Keep the spiders, cool. Red spiders, not cool. <laughs> and the question is, do I take this? Because it doesn't appear like I'm getting an angel room. I'm going to take this. I lose one heart, but I get more damage. Um, I think right now it's a good choice. gonna go to the next floor. I was debating buying a soul heart, but the next floor might have some. So the next floor doesn't have any more item rooms, it's literally the shop. So it has a shop, and it's the final floor where you can get anything. Um, okay, so far this ain't looking so great. But I'm going to do this and hopefully. Okay. So I'm getting another bomb. I'm gonna get two more actually. And this is one of my favorite familiars. So this is Spider Mod. Um, so you can't see it right now, but what he does, he does a couple th different things. One, he should he gives a health bar for everybody. For like any of your familiars that might have a health bar. Um, any enemies that have a health bar, or that have health, you know, it shows that for everything. So it's really nice, because then you can see what enemies you actually can defeat right away, and then what enemies you still need to take a little bit of time for. Um, Do I actually want the tick? The tick is something... The tick doesn't come off. But it's not a bad trinket, because it does a bit of damage to a boss. When you first enter the room. I don't know if it does anything for... Uh, the greed stuff, because it's like, it's technically not a boss room. But... Okay, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, so you can see it has a health bar. And it tells you how much damage you're doing, too, which is also cool. Well, it does the damage times 10. So that's why it said I was doing 80, because I do 7.91. So it multiplied that by 10, and... You know, it should have said I did 79, but it said I did 80. Whatever. Okay. I'm gonna get this again. I'm gonna bomb this again. I'm gonna get this. Damage plus HP up. I'm also gonna get this when I can afford it. 
so that's uh, super greed. Like the other greed boss. Um, drop stuff. Oh, so the spider also drops uh, batteries on occasion, and when he passes over an enemy, he doesn't actively attack enemies, but once he passes over them, like you can see there, he gave that fly fear. He gives them like a random status effect. Mother! My god, why am I just sucking? I do have the chariot, so... All else fails, I could just... Use that. I can't tell what's an enemy and what's not. Oh my god, there's so many shopkeepers in here. Jesus. I might need to get another... No, I don't have a bomb available. I'll get this. Because tears up. That's great, okay. I'm gonna take the tick. I know the tick... I don't remember when it heals you, but I think it heals you at some point, maybe. Or maybe it doesn't. No... No, it's not a terrible thing. The m worst thing about it is that you can't take it off. Um... I wanted to get another bomb, but I don't have bombs available to buy right now. Because I wanted to bomb all this, because maybe he'll give me an item. Or. coins. I hate this enemy. Why are there two of them? See, because this. this has a bullshit hitbox. Like, the hitbox looks like it's just at his eye level, but it's like anywhere to the side of him. Bullshit. Why are there three of these guys? Like, granted, these guys aren't bad. But, oh my god. Okay. I think I'm okay. Yeah, these guys, the Forsaken, I think it's called, they're not bad. Like, that's the worst attack they have. Oh god, never And more cards, okay. The sun, that's a good one. Hierophant, that's a good one. Uh, pfft. Okay. So I'm gonna switch, I don't need temperance. I mean, I'll just use it. Okay, how many... So that was a risk, because... See, the re only reason why I did that is because I do have the sun. And I think I might have gotten this before, I think I explained it before, the sun fully heals you. Um, chariot. Okay. So this is the last floor where I can buy anything. The question is... You know what, I'm not gonna worry about... Okay, so... End of greed mode, there's a greed donation machine. It's like the shop donation machine, it's separate though, it's its own thing. So at the end, you can use all the coins that you have left to put into that, and it unlocks things. Um, since this is my first run of greed, I'm just gonna worry about getting there, so I'm not gonna worry about putting coins in the greed machine. If I have some at the end, then that's great. If not, it's not the end of the world. I saw that tinted rock. I have no uh, bombs. Good job, Isaac. Or Judas. <sighs> so, Ultra Greed. Um, one of the hardest bosses in the game. 
Oh yeah, the tick- yeah, you saw the tick healed me for like a heart or half a heart or something. So I think it does that when I enter a boss room. Not using the Book of Belial because I have another room right next door. A lot of times they'll give me a bunch of coins, but they didn't that time, so. Well, I think because that was- was that just Wrath or something? I, I wasn't really paying attention, I was just killing. So I'm gonna enter here. Yeah, see I'm full health now. Okay, so use this. This is Ultra Greed. So keys that he puts out. Those unlock those doors, which have a ton of enemies. And then hearts. So you saw in his eyes he had keys and hearts. Uh, we don't know which ones these are because they're spinning. They also damage me if I touch them when they're spinning. Um, hearts heal him, but it's not a lot. Okay, and also greed, whenever he hits you, you lose some coins. You drop coins and you lose them. It's just like when you fight greed. Like, it'll make you drop some coins, but less than the coins that you lost. So... Fuck. Okay. I mean, I think I'm doing fine. I don't need to worry too much. It's just Alter Greed. The reason why I say it's just Alter Greed. So there is a hard version, a hard mode for Greed mode. Um, it is not automatically unlocked, like hard mode, which is why I was surprised that hard mode was off, was unlocked at the start. I thought you would have to unlock it, but apparently not. Um, but in greedier mode, which is the hard mode of greed mode, Ultra Greed has a second form. So I just have this one form of greed, Ultra Greed. <sighs> Fucking hell, man. I remember I have the sun. And yeah, I have no coins. I'm not getting any coins. I'm not putting any coins in the green machine unless greed drops some. I don't know if greed drops any. Oh, these are bombs. They blow up. It's actually sometimes nice because it blows up the little shopkeeper things. Which gave me some coins. If you could blow up these ones, that would be great because there's a lot up there. Dead bird does 20 damage per tick. But yeah, there, I beat. Big green. Oh, I unlocked my shadow. Okay, so I have two coins. Ooh, I have a bomb actually. Didn't give me any coins, darn it. I actually didn't even need to use the sun. Ha oh. But yeah. Oh my god, I actually did unlock something. Yeah, lucky pennies. They're nice. They are like pennies. They give you luck when you grab them, though. So they give you one luck. Um, but yeah, that's that's greed mode. So there you go. It's my first run of green mode, and my winning streak has not ended. This thing with five win streaks, so I'm assuming it has to be on hard at this point. Either that, or it's not an achievement on the PS4 version. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.